Hello guys, welcome back to some more magic on X-Mage. We're going to give a, another go with the modern burn deck. Uh, we're going to keep this hand, but we don't have a creature, which is a little scary. Probably just suspend Rift Bolt and pass. Hope for the best. Um, yeah, I think the hands where we don't have a Swiss Spear Goblin Guide are a lot worse than the hands where we do. Opponent did mulligan to six, which could be good for us. Um, whoops. Let us suspend. Alright. Let's see what our opponent is doing. Black and white Inquisition. I guess you take Helix, maybe. Depends. Just burn, pick a spell. Boa Charm does the most, maybe. Lightning Helix is what's going to kill his creatures. Take your pick. He went with the one that does the most damage. Understandable. Alright, sit him with the Rift Bolt. Searing Blaze is a good draw. Um, let us suspend rif another Rift Bolt. And Lava Spike. Let's get rid of the things that aren't instant, we're not going to hold up for creatures. And the next turn we'll be able to just hold these up and start playing on his turn. Looks like it's Esper. Is it going to be like an Esper control deck? Or is it just an off-color fetch? No, oh, Esper it is. Got a creature for me to Searing Blaze? Oof, Collective Brutality. Not a card I enjoy seeing. It's cool how much card this play or how much play this card gets though. She probably just takes the helix and leaves me with the blaze and plays around it. Blaze won't do much if he doesn't play a creature. This X, X here. Oh, Helix is. The text is wrapping, that's why. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, he took the blaze, so that means he probably wants to play a creature. Let's see, we draw this turn. Land, alright, I guess. So we might want not want to crack it until we draw another Searing Blaze, or until we need it. Alternatively, we can crack it and have one less land in our deck. Uh, I do not care about burning Jace, I don't think. I'm going to hold the Helix, though. Sacred Foundry. Okay. No more lands, please. Can still win this game. Our opponent's stuck on two cards, uh, or two lands, which I guess would have been a good reason to burn that, but I hadn't noticed. He found a land anyways, so no big deal. Serum Visions. So we are gonna have to play around like mana leak and stuff. I think after sideboard, this is gonna become a really shitty matchup too, so. Definitely want to win game one. Flip chase. I don't think I care. Yeah. Should be fine. I was going to let him flashback collective brutality. 
If he does that, I can just kill Jace here, but I don't know that I want to do that. I mean, we really just want to count to 12 and burn his face. See if he decides. He is going to go for the Collective Brutality. Okay. So we'll burn him here. Oh my gosh. Come on. White. White. Oh my gosh. These freaking pop-ups. There we go. Figured it out. No redirects. We're we're gonna go all in. Let's fetch at this point. Get the stomping ground. Drake, I think it's just in here for a sideboard card. And yield. So he's gonna collect the brutality and just drain probably. Makes sense. I think we're out of this one, but let's see what we draw. Lava spike, sure. All right, opponent is at eight, so we need to draw three burn spells. Two if they're both Boros Charm, I guess. And also not get countered, which is pretty unlikely at this point, I think. Opponent's at the point where you can keep mana up now. Cast Goblin Guide. I guess he can't mana leak us, so we have that going for us at least. He can Snapcaster though. Another Jace on top. He has a path. Alright, let's grab a land. It's actually our last basic. Good, good to know. Don't run many of them. So we need Boros Charm and one other burn spell at this point. And we have to not get countered. What do you sideboard against this deck? I don't think I need any of my sideboard cards, unless I want rest in peace, but not really. I'd rather just race it, right? Lava Spike. Sure. Alright. Boar Charm or Bus, I guess. Gifts Ungiven. That is scary. Might just be dead here. If he reanimates, like, I Iona. Gifts Ungiven makes me would definitely want to bring the rest in pieces in the. So that's nice to see before we lose. <laughs> what does he get? Because that's going to answer a lot of questions. Also, I ghost cancel Iona. So that card's to put in the graveyard. On burial rights and brutality, I guess. So he does have Iona, which is rough for us. It doesn't look like he has a way to cast it right now. He has to find a way to discard it. Oh, he has Elish Norn in his graveyard. I hadn't even noticed what he was discarding with the brutality. Corio's Vengeance, too. Yeah, this is a, probably not a good matchup for us at all. Well, I don't know. I don't know if Burn has like good mashups. It's really just like a did they stumble over their mana or didn't they? Sort of thing. What 
you gonna do? Reanimate? Nope. Obsidots. This is gonna gain up two life a turn. I don't think we can erase that. Uh, I'm willing to concede. I mean, there's Skullcrack, I guess. We have a one more draw, but I'm probably scooping here. Alright, what do we get? Eidolon? Eidolon, Eidolon, Eidolon. What does that do for us? I don't think it does enough. Alright, let's try again. I don't think we're gonna win while well, we came against the control deck. Uh, let's bring in the rest in pieces. Oh, I almost want the paths too, because the paths will deal with Iona if she does land. But that's a lot of cards to side out in a burn deck, you know? You don't need the blazes. So that's easy, I guess. Can bring out Lava Mancer for one path, I guess. I don't want to do any more. We'll go with that and hope for the best. I don't even know if we want uh, all four rest in pieces. Because we never want to see more than one, right? Um, we're just sitting at the screen until they, until the other player finishes sideboarding. By the way, um, yeah, just look at what the client looks like though. This is what the lobby looks like where you'd uh, find games. So you can see this a decent amount of games. Supposedly 123 players online. We'll see. Um, some cube drafts waiting to fire, which I might hop into after this, depending on how many people they have. Uh, this hand is solid. We will keep it. Goblin Guide, turn one. Maybe just rest in peace, turn two. Depends what he does, because I'm worried about him uh, thought seizing it. So I might play that instead of a, another Goblin Guide. We'll see. Because he might just have to kill this. We are giving him a land. Bummer. Let's see if we get Thought Seized or Fatal Pushed. That's what I'm expecting. I guess Inquisition too, but you know what I mean. Hand Disruption or Killing a Creature. Which of the two are we going to see? I don't think Esper can deal with... Rest in peace super well. I guess white deals with enchantments, but he would have to... I don't think he'd play those. Like, what enchantment hate would he be bringing in against a burn deck, you know? Or would he already have, like, maybe, like, a detention sphere? Serum visions, huh? So do we drop the second guide, or do we rest in peace? I think whichever one we do, we're going to lose the other, right? Because he's going to collect a Brutality next turn. I don't know what the correct answer is. We have four Rest in Pieces. I kind of like just getting the damage in. I went a path to. Uh, the problem is... Goblin Guy is not a great use of our mana either. I'm going to do it, but... Not thrilled with it. Fatal push on top. So maybe he'll do that this turn. We have a lot of pressure on him, so if he... Collective Brutality is... I guess Collective Brutality, he can pull a card from our hand. And, uh... Drain us. Could Collective Brutality hit enchantments? Or is it only instant sorceries? I don't actually know. We'll see what he goes for. Ideally, we just see him fatal push here. Nothing, nothing is good. Hmm. 
Nothing means you can attack for four, get fatal pushed, and then drop rest in peace. Give him another land. And another land. Probably not great, but whatever. Alright, so here comes the fatal push. So we're still knocking him to 10 with this hit, which is pretty good. We have 9 burn in hand. Maybe I just start burning. What's the graveyard looking like? Lingering souls, fatal push. I don't know, am I supposed to just try and burn him? Or do I do the rest in peace plan? I think I'm gonna do the rest in peace plan. I guess you should have the lingering souls as a blocker as well. If he spell snares this, I'll be pretty sad. All right, good. All right, pass it back. So again, we're trying to dodge collective brutalities because there's pretty much no getting around them screwing with us. We can kill our creature and take a card. See our visions. We know he has land drops though, so that's not a problem. Position. Okay, so we could take one of our burn spells, but he can no longer collective whatever. So he can't kill our goblin guide unless he wants to fatal push it again. Either way, he can't. He can't take another card from our hand and kill the goblin. All right, so he's gonna take the helix, I guess. So we got three burn, two on table. We're pretty much going to be in top deck of burn spell mode at this point. Well, we have it. We don't have the mana to play both, unfortunately. Overtize command. Gain four life. Counter target creature, draw a card. Okay. So I'll try and hold up skull crack for that. Kind of wanted to cast one while he was tapped out, but preventing life gain is pretty good. He knows about the skull crack, though. So there's that. He has six cards in hand. We know he has a Flooded Strand. We know he has an Odratize Command. He's gonna pass, so let's Helix. So he can Odratize Command to gain life in response if he wants to. I don't think there's... A way to get around that. I mean, there probably is, but I don't want to think about it. So he gains four life. That'll put him at nine. This will knock him back to six. Guide will knock him to four. Yeah, in order to keep Skullkirk up to play around Overtrize Command, we'd have to play way too slow right now. I don't think it's realistic. So probably gain four, draw a card. He cancelled it. What are you doing? I might have just tapped wrong.
curious what else he has in hand. I think we know about Ojektai's command of footage strand, but there's four unknowns, I believe. He's got nine cars in permanent exile. I have my cards in here too. All right, what are you doing, guy? Come on. Can't imagine it's that hard of a decision. Do you gain the four life, or do you do something else? Reanimator plan's not going to work with rest in peace in play, so probably just want to stay alive, find your answers. All right, oh, he's doing it again. Back at it, guy. Gain four life, draw a card. All right, so we went with that after all. All right, we drew a land. He has a tar pit on top, good to know. He's at four. So he has to find an answer for the guide though. This guide's done a lot of damage for us. He has eight cars in hand. Two of them are lands. At least. I guess they could be more, but... Jace. Jace does block. But I have a path. I'll try it. <laughs> he forgot about the path, I guess. All right, we got there. Um, I don't think I want anything differently. Send it back one more. How's this vintage cube looking? All right, four out of eight people. I think I'm gonna try and hop into this. Vintage cube's fun. Could be a while before that actually pops though. Probably record it. It's hard because like people drop out of them as soon as like they lose one time because they just don't care anymore. Even though like there's no ranking or anything, so I feel like you might as well just play with your deck. But not everybody feels that way. Uh, this hand is land heavy as hell. But I mean it's probably better than a six card hand. It's got a reasonable curve. So we're just going to go all out and kill ourselves with fetching here. Try and get these lands out of our deck. No fatal push in hand, good to know. Or maybe he just really needs to get different colors. No. He just doesn't want a fatal push. Collective brutality, wah wah. It's probably just game right there, to be honest. Um, he just takes the Eidolon and kills the Swift Spear. Using all three modes, too. So what did you discard? Iona? Yeah, that's probably game. We need to draw like a rest in peace to even stand a chance. I mean, I guess I have the paths in for Iona, but... I mean, we have nothing going on once he takes this idol on, so... 
just nothing we can do. He actually took the lava spike. It's fine, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Probably just means he has a removal spell for the creature. Oh my god, I freaking I wanted to cancel. Uh, okay. That's a bit tilting. I don't think we're winning this game anyways, but that pretty much ensures it. Yeah, I wanted to cancel playing the land and switch to a fetch land instead, but I clicked no instead of cancel. Or I think I don't think you can cancel actually, now that I think about it. So that's just a bummer. Wah, wah, wah. Definitely don't want to be drawing these lands, though. And we wouldn't have if I had played right. Although that's a bit of a fallacy. Alright. I mean, we'll just play our game, but not particularly optimistic. He did miss a land drop. But with Jace, he's probably not going to miss anymore. Just keep an eye on his graveyard. Collective Brutality, so he kills an Eidolon, discards the other. Oh, he can't discard creatures. Gotcha, okay. So this is just going to kill the Eidolon and maybe drain if he feels like it. Yeah. So the Eidolon kind of cancels out the drain, but... We are fresh out of gas. Our opponent only has two cards in hand. And they still haven't hit that land drop, although they haven't uh, haven't looted with Jace yet either, so... They could still hit the land drop here. Opposite at in the graveyard too now. Plenty of reanimation targets. I would not mind drawing rest in peace here, actually. We drew another idol on. I mean, we'll play them both. Our opponent did still miss their land drop, so that's something. I only have six minutes on the clock too. Oh, the double Eidolon's gonna be uh, pretty dangerous to ourselves here. They can flash back Collective Brutality and kill one. And then just, uh, well they can't uptake Chase and flashback, but they probably just kill one and drain with Brutality here, if they don't have a land and a better spell to cast. Oh, they just have another Collective Brutality. That works too. So they kill one Eidolon, make the other one small, and that's that. You're gonna train again too. And burial rights. All right, they can't cast that yet. No redirects. You can have your planeswalker. We're just gonna try somehow to win through it. I mean, that's what we want to draw. Now we just gotta figure out how not to die to Jace. Alright, here we go. 
So Jace is all, whenever you cast a spell, target a pump with the top five cards of his library into this graveyard. We don't need to redirect yet, but we're going to want to. Eventually. They did finally hit their third land. Well, this has been a long ass best of three so far. Jeez. I didn't even realize. But opponent is almost out of time. They're playing like super slow. They've used more than 10 minutes more. Control deck or not, that seems excessive. All right. It's fetching. So he still has to take it up one more time before he gets to alt. And I honestly, I don't even know how much I care if it alts. It might be better off just continuing to make idle on small, to be honest. Um, why is it waiting for me? Go. Hello. My clock's going down, but I have nothing to do. Um. Hello. I like lagging out. Is there an OK button that's invisible? What is going on, F2? I don't know. Cancel skip, F2. Well, can't do anything. Um, let's see if he knows what's up. Usually just clicking these yields will skip through this, because it does happen on occasion, but I guess that's game. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind conceding here. The game is probably over. We can't even cast that many more spells without dying to our own Eidolon, so... Our clock's not even ticking down anymore. Oh, his is. Wait, has this been ticking down this whole time? I thought ours was. Oh, there it goes. Alright, well, whatever. Maybe I'm an idiot, but things are moving again. Priority went back to him one way or the other. And he scooped. Alright, we win. No, not really. We lost this game. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, whatever, if you enjoy the videos, suggest decks. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.